Today we are going to talk about the curve drawing. We can use this function to customize the curve we wanted. First, I, wa I will show you guys how it looks like. So I click this initial, we will see there are two curves. One is sine and one is cosine. So same to the lower table. The first step we need to do is to add the constant object into screen and copy the object ID. So here I right click the object, then click here, copy object name. Then we can go to the main function of the Lua, the main function Lua file to paste this ID. Next, we need to understand the core function of curve. So here we go to the support center for checking some details. The first thing first, we should build up the style of the curve or line. Send the color, line type, width, and height or not. So how to understand this color format? It is um, ranging from 0 to 60 GF. This uh, double F with four digits uh, zero is represent as red. So if we want to pick our own color we want it, we can Google keywords online color picker. So this format just exactly we want it. The hexadecimal number. For example, I want to draw yellow. Then I can copy this number into the Lua file. So here I already have some preset style for the curve. So for example, I change it mm -hmm. to the yellow and uh, save the change. After the recompile it, we can see its style change. So we can see the color is changed. So let's um, back to the Lua chapter. Next step is to initial the curve background. Set the axis range, set the scale, and set the grid. And uh, set the maximum point of one curve for how they work for please refer to the super center it is not our key point for today's topic and uh, at the last step is for drawing actual curve so it is the most important part of curve function. For data we can see the drawing function requires three parameters. The first one is for object ID. The second one is for corresponding curve ID. 
and then the third one is for uh, coordinates it is uh, Lua table format data as we can see in the first element is x axis value of number one coordinate and the second element is y axis value of number one coordinate so the the third element is uh, x axis value of number two coordinate and so on so back to the, our demo project a curve drawing function using uh, this for loop to generate at y point uh, just like mm -hmm. we mentioned mm -hmm. on the support center this i value is represent x axis value and uh, this mm -hmm. calculate format is uh, y of y is for y axis value uh, because uh, mass mass sign and mass cosine just able to read the radian value so we need this mass red function to convert the angle value into radian value so after we finish the table construction then we can call this uh, function for draw draw line so it would display like we showing on the beginning and last I want to introduce the moving curve and zone in and zone out it is actually achieved by changing the axis range so like the, this one axis moving uh, move to the left and or right it is axis a axis value at offset and the zoom in is to divide it the axis value with the multi multi value so here I click left and right so we can see the the curve is moving and the y axis up and down also so uh, this uh, to zoom in zoom out just like this so um, this is our only content I present today Thanks for your watching, see you next time.